January 2024. Hopefully this year will be a movie feast. Here are some of the films I'm looking forward to. This is by no means a comprehensive list, so please don't rage in the comments about the ones I've missed. But do let me know which ones you're excited about. First, consider the month of January. We've got Sriram Raghavan's Merry Christmas with Katrina Kaif and Vijay Setupati. Just that combination of artists is mouth-watering. The official one-liner for the film is, two strangers meet on a fateful Christmas Eve. A night of delirious romance turns into a nightmare. Revealing anything more would be a crime. I can't wait. Then we have Fighter with Hrithik Roshan, Deepika Padukone and Anil Kapoor. I'm hoping Fighter, directed by Siddharth Anand, is the desi answer to Top Gun. I think it might also set the limit for how much beauty and superstar charisma can be squeezed into one film. There's also the period action adventure Captain Miller with Dhanush. The rest of the year looks like it will offer plenty to match up to January. Here are some other movies that I can't wait to see. Lapata Ladies, the second film directed by Kiran Rao. This is a film about two young brides who disappear from a train. It premiered at the Toronto Film Festival last year. The teaser promises a rollicking ride and I love that title. There's also Mr. and Mrs. Mahi in which Janvi Kapoor reunites with Sharan Sharma who also directed Gunjan Saxena, The Kargil Girl. The film also stars Rajkumar Rao. There's Kalki 2898 AD. Now the great American film critic Gene Siskel used to have this basic test which asked, is this film more interesting than a documentary of the same actors having lunch? Truth be told, I would happily watch a documentary of the Kalki actors having lunch because this cast includes Prabhas, Deepika, Amitabh Bachchan, Kamal Hassan, Rana Dagubati and Disha Patani. There are reports that Dulkar Salman might also play a part. But what's even more thrilling is the ambition here. Writer-director Nag Ashwin is creating a new futuristic world. This promises to be the first of its kind for Indian cinema. There's also Tangalan, directed by Pa Ranjit. Tangalan means leader or protector of the people. The film is set in colonial India and features an unrecognizable Chian Vikram as the head of a tribal community laboring in the Kolar gold fields. The visuals we've seen so far are absolutely electric. We've also got a slew of sequels. Rohit Shetty is back doing what he does best. Testosterone filled films brimming with stars, action and exploding cars. Singham again features Ajay Devgan, Ranveer Singh, Akshay Kumar and Kareena Kapoor Khan. But for added allure, we also have Tiger Shroff and Deepika as Shakti Shetty, who Rohit describes as Lady Singham. I'm super excited. Another highly anticipated sequel is Sukumar's Pushpa The Rule. Alu Arjun will be back as the sandalwood smuggler Pushpa, who rises through the ranks. The sequel will also hopefully have more of Fahad Fasil playing that unhinged cop Bhavar Singh Shikhavan. I wonder though if we'll get a song to match O oh, Antawa Mawa. It has over 390 million views on YouTube. I'm also excited about Sri 2 directed by Amar Kaushik. A headless man plays a key role. And now the line of O Sri Kalana has been replaced with O Sri Raksha Karna. I love the original and can't wait to see where Amar will take this story. And then there's LSD 2 directed by Debakar Banerjee. The first one was groundbreaking, so I have high hopes from this one. As I do from Anurag Basu's Metro in Dino, which has a slew of stars including Aditya Roy Kapoor, Sara Ali Khan, Pankaj Tripathi, Konkona Sen Sharma, Anupam Kher, Neena Gupta, Ali Fazal and Fatima Sana Sheikh. And there's L2 Empuran, the sequel to Lucifer starring the legend Mohan Lal and directed by another superb actor Prithviraj Sukumaran. Prithviraj also features in the rebooted Bade Mia Chote Mia alongside Akshay Kumar and Tiger Shroff. That's an intriguing combination. Other movies that are piquing my interest are Kabir Khan's Chandu Champion starring Karthik Aryan, Koratala Siva's Devara 1 with NTR Jr, Saif Ali Khan and Janvi Kapoor, The Crew with Tabu, Kriti Sanan, Kareena Kapoor Khan and Diljeet Dosanjh, and Jigra in which Vasan Bala directs Alia Bhatt. That combination itself is fascinating. As is the combination of Karina and Hansal Mehta, who've collaborated on the Buckingham murders. Diljeet, who's a favourite of mine, will also star as the lead in Imtiaz Ali's Amar Singh Chamkila, which tells the story of Punjab's legendary rock star. This is an A.R. Rahman musical, What's Not To Love? 
The other biopic I'm hoping to see is Khashaba, directed by Nagraj Manjule, though this might go to 2025. Fandry and Sairat are two of my favorite films and I'm excited to see what Nagraj will do with the story of K.D. Jadav, India's first Olympic medalist. Khashaba was a wrestler who won a bronze medal in the 1952 Summer Olympics in Helsinki. He was the first athlete from independent India to win an individual medal. This promises to be a rousing experience. Actor, writer, director Rishab Shetty will also be back with Gantara Chapter 1. This is a prequel to his blockbuster Kantara. The first image looks spectacular. There's Avesham by writer director Jitu Madhavan, starring Fahad Fasa. For me, he's the gold standard of acting, and I will see anything that he's in. I will also see anything that Vicky Koshal is in. His 2024 slate includes an untitled film directed by Anand Tiwari, co-produced by Dharma, which has him starring with Tripti Dimri and Ami Virk. That's an exciting combination. Also from the Dharma stables, and this is a co-production with Sikhya Entertainment, is a film called Kill. Kill premiered at the Toronto International Film Festival last year. It got rave reviews. It stars Laksha and Raghav Jiyal. And coming up at the end of the year is Amir Khan's Sitare Zameen Par. Amir is one of our finest and it will be terrific to have him back on screen. We don't have any release dates yet, but hopefully in 24, we also get to see the great Kamal Hassan reunite with two legendary directors, Indian 2 with Shankar and Thug Life with Mani Ratnam. Like I said, it's going to be a movie feast, truly a new year to look forward to.